It's no secret that to succeed with your e-commerce business, you need to sell products that are in high demand. However, it's hard to find the products that are in demand right now that customers are looking to buy. Have no fear because in this video, I'm going to share with you the top 10 products that are in high demand right now for you to sell on your stores. I'll also show you the Facebook ads that the sellers are running for these products and where they're sourcing these products from, how much they're profiting and more. Top 10 high demand products coming right up. Quick intro and let's go. Welcome back, I'm Liran from AutoDS, and as you know, in this video, you're gonna learn about the top 10 high demand products to sell on your stores, and I'll show you all of the info, full transparency, so you can get a perfect idea of how many sales you can make on your store when adding these product ideas to yours. One second before we get started, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics coming out in the world of dropshipping, full of case studies, interviews, product finding methods, dropshipping tips and strategies, new features coming out, and so much more that we have going on. Having said that, let's jump straight into the action and learn about the top 10 products that are in high demand right now. It's all about product research, so let me shave lots of hours off of yours. Start with these product ideas if you're just getting started, if you have no product list yet. And if you already gotten started, you can add these product ideas to your store. And as I always say, add multiple variations of every product idea that I go over in this video. That is because testing just one or two products from every product idea is simply not enough to test and analyze the market and start getting your sales. Add about 20 to 30 product ideas from every product that I'm recommending in this video and you will start to see what products will start to sell from those products and then multiply your success, multiply your sales by continuing to add more products similar to those that are selling for you while always continuing to test the market for more. Now I'm going to get started with the top 10 products starting with number one and everything that I'm going over in this video you can also read about it in the blog article which I'll leave a link to right below this video but I always like to throw an extra value into these videos so stay tuned if you're the type that likes to watch. Number one on our list, women's U-shaped bra. Not just any bra, but it is a U-shaped one and this one has been selling like crazy. Here's some info that you need to know about for this product. This one sells for about $40. It's being sourced at around $16, $16.5, leaving you with a potential profit of $24. Now, of course, the potential profit here does not include your selling channel fees. So if, for example, you're dropshipping on eBay and your break even there is 15%, then take out 15% from the potential profit. If you're dropshipping on Facebook Market, place then your fees are anywhere between zero to five percent which is super super low and i highly recommend that selling channel but that's not what we're here to talk about so minus your selling channel fees from the from the potential profit you'll see that you still have a lot of profit to work with your target audience here should be females anywhere between 16 to 25 years old you can even go above that and the activities who have interests in yoga sessions gym workouts casual travel and more here is the seller's facebook ad you have a screenshot right here but let's go on and take a look ourselves Support for all kinds of activities, sweat wicking and breathable, fall in love with Halara styles. Not the best description that I could think of. You could add more things like what type of products you have here. If you have anything on sale, like you see the 70% off right here, maybe you have free worldwide shipping. Add more features to the product description if you can, but just take a look at the engagements down here. So over 8,500 engagements, likes and shares, over 580 comments, 182 shares. So you can see that this product is pretty popular. Let's take a look at the seller's website. Now, as you see here, they branded themselves, they call themselves Halara, they've got free shipping on orders, $39 and up, and here's their website. Overall, it looks okay, but where is that product that we were looking at? So the Facebook ad didn't take us directly to the product page, but let's try to get to it from the blog article where we've got the seller's website. So here we've got the link to the workout crop tank top. Okay, and here we have the product page. So as you see here, the seller is selling all of the different variations that this product has. And this is a drop shipping store, meaning he's not holding any inventory. He only purchases this U-shaped bra from the supplier only after making a sell himself. So here you've got the different variations, the different colors, different sizes. And you've got a free shipping to Israel, so it knows my current location. It's telling me that it can ship to my location. And if I click on that, I can also see shipping info. So this seller did all of the important things. He's letting you know about the shipping estimates, about the shipping prices, and you also have a sizing chart, which is really, really important to do if you have a store that's selling clothes, fashion, accessories, and those types of things. You want to minimize the return rate as much as possible. You don't want customers returning their products. You do want customers to return to your 
your store to purchase more but not to return products a return rate anywhere between two to four percent five percent is fine if it's higher than that you should take a look at your website see why customers are returning these products if the main reason is because the size is not what they expected then you realize that you need a sizing chart or a better one than the one that you currently have so talk to your supplier about that besides that you can also see the product reviews down here so you can use product review apps to import reviews especially if you're drop shipping on places like shopify and wix you can use apps to import reviews from the supplier's website to your product page giving you true testimonials to your product listing and as you can see we also have images so some customers purchase this product they add images of them wearing it and of course that will add the extra boost of social proof that you need that your customers actually need in order to purchase the product so that is number one on our list check out the u-shape bra go to your supplier's websites if you're not sure what suppliers to use you can simply head over to autods.com click on the suppliers link and just check out all of the dropshipping suppliers that you can work with some are retail suppliers some are wholesale suppliers more dropshipping friendly so if you're just starting off it's better to start with wholesale suppliers start moving to retail after you start to get the hang of it but it really depends on what road you want to travel down to in any case here you have the best dropshipping suppliers that you can start to work with and also enjoy dropshipping automation if you are a member of AutoDS. number two on our list tactical combat pants these have actually been selling for a while but the good thing about it is there's always a market for people looking to buy these types of pants and they're always being remanufactured in new ways new designs all the time so there's always new designs pumping out and there's always something to sell when it comes to tactical combat pants but let's take a look at this seller right here so he's selling these pants for $90, he's sourcing it for about $35, making a potential profit of over $50 every time he makes a sale. The target audience here are males, anywhere between 25 to 45 years old, single or married, occupation type, civil servants, military soldiers, firefighters, law enforcers, you get the idea. But even people that actually like to go out and camp. Here is the Facebook ad. Let's take a closer look. Whether you're in the military, law enforcement, or spend ample time outdoors, our tactical pants are the way to go. Free domestic shipping all over the US, worldwide shipping available, shop the collection today. This is a pretty good ad, it's a good copy. I have no remarks to make here. And you've got the link to the product page. And here you can see that he's going with the carousel ad. So he's showing you images and you can simply go with one that you like and click on shop now to go to that specific product page. So first things first, I get a subscribe and get 10% off your purchase as soon as I enter their website. And this is a good thing to have because you want to get your customers email addresses. When you get their email addresses, you can later on send them email marketing campaigns. That way you can retarget them and get them back to your store to purchase again and again. This has been a proven method to work ever since marketing was ever created, ever since internet marketing started to become a thing. It is still up until today, one of the best methods to market your store and think about it once you have 10,000 email subscribers for people who are interested in your e-commerce store this is a lot of power because you can retarget them and many of them will come back and purchase especially if your products are relevant especially if they're still interested in it but the good thing here is you didn't have to pay any external traffic source to bring traffic to your website because that is your email list and it is yours to keep so that is a very valuable thing to have so learn from that pop-up offering a discount in exchange for their email addresses don't overdo it one pop-up is enough so here's the product page for all of the tactical pants let's go with the one that we wrote about so it's this one right here if i'm not mistaken let's go back yeah so the selling price was 90 dollars, and it's the same pants right now i can see that they upped the price to 100 dollars. so he's looking to make some more profit here unless the supplier also raised the price for them let's take a look at the supplier's website and see if anything changed there so he's selling it for 100 dollars. now let's go to the source so under the supplier's website, I got the link right here. So these are the same exact pants, same design, same style, same everything. This is the supplier to these pants. Let's see how much they cost on AliExpress. So let's choose the right variation and let's see if the sizes matter. So right now I've got $33.92. It's the same price for all sizes. Okay, so we're talking $34. Let's see if shipping costs money. Okay, another $4 for shipping. But if we ship to the US, let's change the ship to, to the United States. So if your target audience is the United States, Let's see if they have to pay for shipping. $2. So let's take the maximum. Let's go with $3 shipping, okay? Let's add another $3 to the 33 that we already had. So we can see that the prices have changed. The supplier did raise the price a little bit, and that is why the seller also raised the price on his website. Now remember, if you're working with AutoDS, you have price and stock automation. So if the supplier ever changes his price, and suppliers do that a lot, the price will also automatically change on your store without you having to notice it. That way you will keep your profit potential, whatever percentage you have set in your settings, no matter what happens 
happens to the price on the supplier's side. And of course, if it goes out of stock, it'll also go out of stock on your website as well. So in this case, the supplier raised the price, but not by too much. So let's look at it again. We're looking at $36, let's say $37 plus another $3 shipping. So we're looking at a maximum of $40, but we also have $3 off orders over $4. So we can later on, let's just add that profit. You'll have another $3 profit. So we're looking at $40. If it costs $40 and now he's selling it for $100, then his potential profit grew from $55 to $60 and even $63 because you're going to get another $3 back from this coupon. So that's a lot of profit. Even if you take down the 10%, 15% selling channel fees, you're still going to make over $50 in profit when selling this product. So that is the tactical pants. Let's see if we have anything to say about his product page. So right here, everything looks pretty good he branded his store and the colors look pretty good it's clean and everything is in the right place so we got the title right here we can see product reviews here which is nice so we've got product reviews if we click on it it'll take us down to the reviews and same as usual you can use a product importer app to import the reviews that you have down here on the supplier's website and import these reviews to your product page there are some free apps that do it there are some paid apps that do it we have content on that too so search for it on our youtube channel or on our blog page now now here we've got two different variations so we got the black and the green the different sizes ships from the united states and the quantity how much you want to add you've got these trust badges right here giving you the confidence or giving your customers the confidence that they may need in order to check out to purchase then you've got the product information right here so you don't have to scroll down too much to get all of the information item specifications shipping policies and returns and exchanges if you scroll down you have some reviews you may also like these products too subscribe enter your email address and the footer menu so this is well designed we just need a size guide which we have right here so let's click on that and as you can see you've got the size chart which as i mentioned every time you're selling a clothing product you want to have a sizing chart to minimize returns and to meet the expectations of your buyers to make this better is to maybe make the theme not so blackish and grayish but to think of something that's a little bit more complementing to everything else that you're selling so the niche for this seller as you can see right here is tactical stuff anything that has to do with tactical army green looking products so you've got tactical shirts tactical jackets tactical pants the whole website needs to be around a tactical colored theme like the army colors so that is what i would do different here but overall he's doing an okay job he's doing a pretty good job and you can imagine how many sales he's getting from this facebook ad with over 3,000 engagements you can be sure that he's making some fine sales moving on to the high demand product number three electronic sonic dental whitener this is the product Let's take a look at the info. This product sells for almost $44, being sourced at around only $9, leaving you with a potential profit of about $34. Target audience, both male and female, ages 21 to 40. I think you can go a little bit above that. Marital status, single and married, and those that have interests in their oral health. Now, many people don't know that they have an interest in it yet, so don't narrow down and target only that, but that is one of the angles that you should be testing. You should also try targeting a very broad audience here because at the end of the day, everybody brushes their teeth. At home, tartar and stain removal is here. Stop bad breath, prevent yellow teeth, portable and chargeable, 50% off flash sale and free shipping worldwide. And you've got over 16,000 reactions for this Facebook ad for just this product, over 1,700 comments and over 3,000 shares. Let's take a look at the product page and see what the seller is doing so well besides the great product that he thought about. So take a look at this. I don't see how it can get much much worse than this so i see a big image text i'm not sure what they're trying to say the colors do not correspond to one another so this proves the point that i speak about over and over again you can still sell a product even if your website looks like trash now this doesn't mean that your website should look like trash because you will benefit from much more sales by having a professional looking website but as long as your product research is on point and this is one of the most important things as long as your product research is on point and that's why we have these videos to help you out as much as possible then you will make sales even with a bad looking store as long as you know how to market yourself how to market your store and we have plenty of lessons on that then you should have no problems making sales take a look at this testimonial it's so zoomed in that you can see that the letters are pixeled and overall I, you can see what the seller is trying to do but he just did a horrible job and pretty much used every color out there and yeah it just it is what it is let's go to the product page and just check it out so you've got the product right here he's selling it for 40 dollars as we can see right here we wrote it for 44 dollars 
dollars after you add shipping options he'll add a few more dollars so you'll get to about 44 and let's take a look at the source let's see where he's getting this product from so i'm going to scroll down to the supplier's website and click on that product okay and here we go the same exact product that we're seeing on their website okay you can see it's the same type same style same everything this is where they're sourcing their product from let's choose a variation let's go with the pink color and we can see that shipping costs another four dollars and 38 cents to four dollars and 50 cents let's round that up to nine dollars and he's selling the product for forty dollars or 44 with shipping so 44 minus 9 will leave you with that potential profit of about 34 dollars per sale that is a lot of profit to make from a product that costs you only nine dollars but this comes to show you that with the drop shipping business model not just with the drop shipping business model but one of the greatest things about e-commerce is don't be afraid to profit you're not here to kill anyone else's competition you're not here to reinvent the wheel you're here to make a profit and you're not going to make a profit if you sell things super duper cheap and that way you will make sales but the profit is not going to be that substantial and you simply won't want to continue working all day every day even if you automate your business and you have most of your things automated for you from the help of AutoDS, you're still going to have a very hard time seeing any good profit, anything that's worth the time and trouble if you're selling things at a very, very cheap price point. Do not be afraid to profit. People will pay if you're giving them what they need and what they didn't even know that they needed. So with the right marketing skills and with the right products, you will reach these profits and you will be able to scale these profits and make many sales per day and really hit it to the high numbers. It's all about product research and this seller did a good job with that. He didn't do a good job creating his website. So so what you can do now is take this product idea, add it to yours and make a much better looking website, a much better looking product page and do a better job than this seller who did make his ad go viral even with a really bad looking website. And I can assure you that he is very happy with his sales. And by the way, when I say he, of course it can be a she, I have no idea. It just comes more natural to me. Number four, weight loss slim patch. This is something that many people are looking for. And this seller here is selling it for $36, buying at only $4 to $5, making a profit of over $30 per sale. And when selling this product, you can target both male and female, age 21 to 45. Marital status, both single and married. Everybody wants to lose weight. Anyone who's overweight is dreaming about losing weight. I'd say at least 95% of overweight people. Concerns, overweight, excess belly fat, and yeah, simply people who are overweight. So let's take a look at the Facebook ad. As you can see right here, over 4,600 reactions, 1,400 comments, over 700 shares. He has a video ad to showcase the product, but I wanna show you his website, Herbal Slimming Waste Pellet. So one of the things here is that you need to rename your items and do not keep it the same as what you see on your supplier's website. That way it won't be easy for the customer to find that product also somewhere else. Most customers are not going to make that search. And when you are doing your product research, you are looking for products that are hard to find in stores and that it's hard to also guess the price of them and so that is why you can sell that oral dental product that we had in the last product that i showed you guys selling for about four dollars where you can buy it for about nine dollars and easily sell it for 44 dollars and one more thing to help you with that is our product research spreadsheet. If you're interested in the product research spreadsheet, leave me a comment below and I will drop the link to it. Let me show you what it's like. Here is the product research dropshipping spreadsheet and this will help you narrow down your products and sell the right ones in your store, those that will have the highest chance of actually selling. So you're gonna fill in the product's name, where you're sourcing it from, then you're gonna start answering all of these questions with the drop down menu with a yes or no answer. So are you passionate about this product? It's important to sell products that you are passionate about. It'll be easier for you to describe them to create the product page for them and to sell them is the product hard to find in stores is it hard to guess the price is it safe to sell can this product be bought without much research does this product solve a problem or stand out does it cost less than $30 and does it comply with Facebook's ad policies because most chances are unless you're dropshipping on a marketplace like eBay Facebook or Amazon you will run Facebook ads on this product you will direct traffic through Facebook ads to your product page to make sales and you want to make sure that you also comply with their policies after you fill in this whole chart and after you answer yes to all of the options for a product you know that that is a product with a high chance of selling on your stores so once again drop me a comment below if you want the link to the product research spreadsheet and i will drop the link in the comments so herbal slimming waste pellet this product page looks pretty good the colors are clean he's got this whole purple theme going on with a white background so it's not screaming anything it's not yelling and from here you can see the product reviews you can see how much it costs worldwide shipping 100 satisfaction guaranteed cruelty free and then you've got the 
different variations. So if you buy the one pack, which comes with 10 pieces, it's going to cost you about $23. And if you buy a 30 pack, then you're going to get a 60% off, 70% off, and 80% off the more that you purchase. And if we scroll down, we can see the product's information. So of course, this is all taken from the supplier. Maybe the seller optimized it a little bit. Maybe he didn't. In any case, you always want to optimize your product page and make it look natural, make it look professional, and make it unique to your store. As you see here, we've got all these before and after results. I do not recommend going with the before and after pictures because you can't really tell if it's true. And this is one of the things that Facebook will simply even ban your ad account if they see that you're adding all of these before and after pictures. They don't like to see it. You're showing the customer something that may or may not be true. And if it isn't true, it is a big deal because you're lying to someone telling him, hey, if you take this, you'll go from this to that and the customer will take it. He'll see that it's not true. And that is not something that you want to put up with later on down the road. Then you've got the product's highlights and the specifications and customer reviews. And the seller here try to focus on customer reviews that have images because again that is what's going to help convince the customer you can add it to your product page but do not add it to your Facebook ad. Now let's see how much this product really costs. So I'm going to scroll down to the supplier's website, click on the link and lo and behold this seller is out of stock but do not worry we can always find this product using other suppliers and that is why I always say to work with multiple dropshipping suppliers and never put all of your eggs in one basket. This is one of the reasons why you shouldn't do that. So what I did here was I conducted a quick Google image lens search. Simply right click on the product, click on search image with Google lens, and you will have a whole bunch of results from other suppliers who are selling this same item. You'll have links from AliExpress, but the sellers are out of stock. I did find two other good places. So one is Alibaba, but this is only for those who actually want to purchase stock because this product is not drop shippable from them. But you can just kind of get a good feeling of how much this product actually costs. And even when you see them on AliExpress, you'll see them cheaper at Alibaba. Many sellers from AliExpress Express purchase from Alibaba and bring it to their stores. And many sellers on AliExpress are also dropshippers themselves who don't have any stores and they're simply sourcing products from you from other Chinese sellers who you don't have access to. So you can see that this is being sold for about 60 to 80 cents per box. Now, of course, this doesn't include shipping. So you will have to add a couple dollars average for every item to get the real price. But if you continue the Google Lens search, you will find many other web that you can use to resell this product. In this example, I found it on Walmart for $9.25 for the 30 pack. Now you can see that it's the same exact item, only instead of being sourced at $4.64, we are going to purchase this product at $9.25, cutting back our profits for about $5 if we're selling it at the same price as the seller, meaning instead of making $31 in profit, we'll make about $26 in profit, which is still great for a product that we only purchased for $9. So use Google Lens, especially when your suppliers run out of stock and you're looking for another place to source this product. You can also use the suppliers on autods.com slash suppliers as I showed you earlier today. You can simply go to their websites and search from there. You can also use the free Chrome extension to search all of the suppliers that you are interested in. So let's say I want to take out Amazon. I want to keep Walmart, Wayfair, CJ Dropshipping, Home Depot, Costco, and Banggood. And then here I can search for weight loss slim patch. Okay, I can of course add more suppliers. All of the suppliers are listed here. So we can also add Costway, Lowe's, Target, Vita, Excel, and more. So what I did was search for weight loss slim patch, add the suppliers that I want, select what regions I want to search them from, and then click on search now. Now, as you can see, all of these tabs opened and the search is being done right now as we speak on those suppliers websites. So here we have the results on Walmart. Okay, and you will have to look for that same exact product or and even better, as I always recommend to look for more products similar to those that are selling. And you also want to add 20 to 30 product ideas from every product. So you don't only want to add that one that I was talking about, which is right here, by the way, but you also want to try out the rest. Okay, so same thing. It also searched up on Wayfair. Wayfair doesn't have any good results. CJ Dropshipping doesn't also have any good results here. Home Depot also not so good. It's not their niche. Costco seems to have some results and Banggood doesn't have any, but that is why you should always search for multiple suppliers. As you can see, there's a lot of tips coming out here from me. So I hope that you all will implement these tips as I have over five years of dropshipping experience utilizing these strategies and of course, much more. Number five on our list, Nordic Modern Glass Wall Lamps. This is a great home decor product and it's also a lamp. Let's take a look at the stats. Selling at $103, being sourced at only 
$24, leaving you with a profit potential of almost $80 per transaction. That is absolutely great. Sell 10 of these a day, your belly will be full. Target audience is females, you could also add males. 21 to 50 years old, that's a good age range for this. Marital status, both single and married. Activities and interests, homebodies, interior designs, Nordic lovers, and more. Let's take a look at the seller's Facebook ad and see how well it is performing for them. So as you see right here, they added a video. Let's play it. Artist designed lighting. Hundreds of designs to suit your home and match your favorite colors. Wall lights complete your living room. So I can do the voiceover and um, for this guy and um, I hope he'll pay me for it. Oh, of course, I'm kidding. So what he did here was he simply took images from the product itself because he doesn't actually have a video for it. Uh, he could order one to his home and actually create a video and sell it in his home and create a video if he's really serious about this product. But he's able to make the sales even without that. So if we take a look over here, 6,000 engagements, 100 comments, over half a million views with only one sentence. Complete your rooms with artist designed home decor. He could have done much better than this. Maybe his English is not that well. Maybe he's just very, very modest. Let's take a look at his website. As you can see though, from the ad, you can imagine just the amount of sales conversion rates that he's making. And a good way to think about that is just take the industry average of about two to 3%. Okay, you can even go low, go with 2%, add 2% to the amount of people that viewed this ad, let's say from half a million from 574,000, let's say only 5% or 10% clicked on the product to actually go take a look at it, and then take another two to 3% from there who actually purchased purchase the product. Now, if we take a look at his website, it's actually done pretty well. It's pretty professional. Um, this is a currency converter, so it's just converting to shekels. Sorry about that, but let's just convert it to uh, US dollars. So 341 divided by about 3.3. So that leaves us at about $103. And we were looking at, yeah, $103. So it's still about right. And uh, we've got the three variations. So clear, smoky, and golden. The, the image for the smoky is really, really bad. But uh, I guess the seller either didn't notice or just didn't care but yeah everything here is imported from the supplier the seller didn't do anything too special here a quick sentence two sentences and product specifications which of course is really important to have as much specifications as you have add them to your product page he didn't even import any reviews he's just kind of trusting the customers who are purchasing from his store to come here and write a review themselves which hasn't been done yet. That is why many people use the review importers and it's no big deal. You're not lying to anyone. You're showing them real reviews from that same product that you're selling, only it was sold on a different marketplace, on a different platform until you started making the sales yourself. Next, we've got the shipping information. So he ships to the US within about 16 business days. So you can tell that it's being sourced from China and same thing, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, and the rest of the world. Refunds and returns. We offer a no hassle 30 day refund policy on all of our products. Don't love your items, return them for, for a full refund. No question asked. The only thing here is they didn't mention that the return will most likely cost you money. They're not saying that because they want it to sound good, but AliExpress is not giving you free returns, so he's not gonna give it either. Let's take a look at the supplier's website, which as you know, in this case is AliExpress, even though you will be able to find it also using different suppliers. So here you can see that this product actually has great reviews, so it's a very good idea for a product to sell. Let's see if it's the same exact video that we saw in the ad. it's not the same video. It actually shows the product in action. This is actually a better video, but you do need to edit it. You do need to add text. You do need to make it sound convincing, look convincing. So you kind of see the product in action. You can see how it looks and you know, with the plants here all around and all of that, it actually looks pretty nice. But once again, you want to have a good copy. You want to add some text, maybe even better background music and so forth. So this product is being sold for $18 plus another $4 shipping that totals to about $22 and being sold at $100 how much was it? $103. So that leaves you with the same profit potential as we've seen up here of almost $80 for every time you sell this wall lamp. So here is something that I want you guys to know, and this will help you scale your businesses really, really easily once you start making sales. Let's say that this product sold on your stores. Now what you want to do is scale your sales, make even more sales from the same type of product. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your supplier's websites and search for that product. So for example, let's go to Walmart and search for Nordic modern glass wall lamp. We can also use Home Depot here because this is actually their niche. But as you see, Walmart has a very nice collection of these types of wall lamps. So what we're going to do is continue to scale our success by adding all of these products to our stores and seeing how well that is going to sell for us too. And this way you can catch trends fast and maybe even create a niche store around this product 
once it starts working really well for you. So this is the next step once you start making some sales. The thing is, how are you gonna save your time and not spend days and weeks just adding all of these products to your stores when you can actually do all of it in less than one minute? For that, once again, download and install the AutoDS Helper extension. You can head over to Google, write AutoDS Helper, go to the first search result and download and install this free extension. Once you have that, Make sure that it's activated and you will see it here on your browser. Search for the product that you want to add to your store, like these products right here, these, these Nordic wall lamps. Click on the extension, then click on extract. Now I've got 41 products, which I'm seeing right here. All of their product IDs were extracted into this extension. Now I'm going to click on export a CSV. And as you see, a CSV file called Walmart export was downloaded onto my computer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the AutoDS platform. And here I'm going to click on add products, multiple products, and then I'm going to click on the upload CSV column and click on the drop CSV file to open up my browser and double click on that Walmart export file. Processing CSV and file is uploaded in less than a second. The supplier source here is Walmart and the region is the US. Now I don't know if you guys noticed but the shipping time is really quick here from Walmart. So we've got three day shipping times, two day shipping times for these products. You're buyers are going to be very happy, especially your US buyers, because that's the amount of time that's going to take for them to receive their products. Now, all that we're going to do is click on add as a draft. And all of those products that were inside that extension will now be added to the draft section of our stores where we can optimize them before importing it to our stores, or we can just import them right away and optimize them later on, let our virtual assistant do it or optimize after we make sales. Now you can continue moving on to more pages and extracting more products into the extension. So the more you go, the more you'll be able to extract. Now I've got 81 and this is simply a fast way to get all of these products to your store and sell them in just the click of a button. Now let's get back to that product list. Number six, men's winter fleece jacket. That is this product right here. Let's take a look at the information. This jacket is being sold for almost $100, being sourced at around $47, leaving you with a potential profit of about $50. Target audience here are for males, 21 to 45 years old, both single and married, those who have interest in leisure, sports, work, travel, and more. And as you can see right here, they've got a pretty good Facebook ad. Let's take a closer look. This seller calls himself David Outwear. Set the tone in premium styles where no detail is overlooked and draw up to 50% off store wide. That's pretty good. It's very eye catchy. Hurry, the greatest stuff will go fast. Shop now. And over 5,000 reactions, 450 comments, 139 shares. Let's take a look at what this guy is doing. The website looks professional. It looks like a branded store. He really does make it look and seem like a branded store tailored fit premium quality all seasons wear unmatched customer service giving you the trust badges that you need or that your customers will need to purchase from the store and you've got this banner up here warehouse clearance sale ends today and it's switching with other messages you can also change your currency right here which is very comfortable to have so it doesn't only depend on where you live you can just change it around and here you've got all of the different types of jackets and not only that you can see that he's also selling shoes gloves bags and more so he's got a pretty good catalog these images are a little bit too big you can never be too perfect you've got some testimonials down here which is great i would rather have it a little bit higher up but overall he's doing a pretty good job let's take a look at the product page so I couldn't find that same exact jacket, but this seller simply changed his website around ever since we wrote that blog article. Let's give it one more try. I wanna try creating a lens search for this product. By the way, there's apps that you can use to find them on certain places like on AliExpress, but I like Google's image lens search. It actually works pretty well. So we've got this product on Amazon. We've got it in many different websites. We've also got it on eBay. Here's David Outwear. That's the actual website that we're on right now. You can see that many, many websites are selling this product. In this example, let's just go with Amazon. We haven't seen them yet. Let's just take a quick look. It wasn't the same product. So these searches can take a while. Okay. And that's why we do all the work for you in advance. And sometimes by the time I record these videos, some changes happen between the time that we wrote the article to the time that we recorded the video. And you may see some changes, but if you just put in a few more minutes of work, you will find this product using other suppliers and you will see that he's making a great profit, almost $50 from selling every one of his jackets. Moving on to product number seven, Eagle Wings Bracelet Cuff. This one is selling for about $36, being sourced at only $4, leaving you with over $30 of profit 
profit every time you sell just one bracelet. Now, when selling items like these, you should usually sell more than the quantity of one because what if the buyer wants to buy one for himself, one for his wife, maybe one for his son or for his daughter or for her son, her daughter. So add more than the quantity of one and that way instead of making $30 in profit, you're gonna make $60 in profit from just one order and you will get to those audiences that will buy more than the quantity of one. So make sure that you're not limiting your products to just the quantity of one. Target audience here, both male and female, 16 to 30 years old, single and married, bracelet lovers, cuff users, fashion forward style and more. Let's take a look at the Facebook ad. Here's the seller's ad. They're only using an image, no videos, no carousel images, just one image showing you the price, free shipping, focus on your way like the Eagles do. Not the best copy that I could think of and not the best job for an ad, but still about 5,000 engagements, 464 comments, 259 shares. Let's take a look at the website. Okay, so here we have it at $36, free shipping, free gift box, two pieces, 10% off. So up the quantity and of course, get that discount. You will give the same amount of discount. Of course, you can give a 10%, 15%, even 20% discount. You'll still make great profits and you'll convince the buyer to add more. Now, one of the best things that this seller is doing is that he's adding a bundle. He wants to increase the average order value, which is what I just talked about. You want to increase the average order value. That way you're going to make more profit since we're profiting in percentages. The higher the item price, the more we're going to profit. So what he did here was he added a bundle. So he's saying, hey, buy this. Why don't you also buy this ring here? Or frequently bought together. When you buy this, people usually also buy the Eagle necklace. And you can really play around with that and create a good bundle that will convince customers to buy it. The product description is right here. It's not spaced out. It's not friendly. Most people, I guarantee, are not going to go through reading all of the product's information. And then you've got this no cadmium, no lead, no nickel uh, image here at the end. And customer testimonials, only those with images. That is what the seller imported from his store. So you can see this guy on a motorcycle right here and the rest just sitting at home or whatever, but that actually could give the online shoppers the extra boost that they need to go on, add it to their cart and continue with the purchasing process. So as you see with this amount of engagements, you can be sure that this seller is doing a quite a good job selling this Eagle cuff and let's see how much it costs. So I'm going to click on the AliExpress link. And as you can see right here, it is a very, very cheap item. Let's choose the variation. So we've got gold and silver, and then we've also got rings. So this ring is that same ring that you saw when he tried to cross sell the product and tell you, hey, you want to buy this? You should also add the ring right here. Okay. So the ring that we're seeing here on his website is what we're also seeing right here. So he's buying the cuff for just $2. And let's see how much it costs with shipping. Everything changed to Spanish for no reason at all. I don't even speak Spanish. I don't know why AliExpress does this. I don't even know where we need to go to change that. I'll deal with that later. We're looking at $2 and another $2 shipping to the US. So two plus two equals four. We're looking at about $4.20, which is actually even a price drop from when we wrote the article. So you're gonna make over $30 in profit selling this item, which you can see is in high demand looking at that Facebook ad. Number eight, men's tactical gloves. We already talked about tactical pants. Tactical gloves should also be a no brainer. These gloves are being sold at $50, being sourced at less than $19, leaving you with a potential profit of over $30 once again. This one fits males, 21 to 65, single and married, outdoor enthusiasts, those who like to travel, camping, workers who deal with hazardous materials, armed personnel and more. Let's take a look at the Facebook ad. Top tactical gear. Hey, notice you've been creeping up on us. Shameless bribe. This is actually a retargeting ad. So this is what they're sending to people who checked out their website, exited their website, and then they retarget them through Facebook telling them, hey, I know that you were on our website. Here's a shameless bribe for these indestructible gloves. Don't forget your order. Come and get 50% right now. Okay, and then he's taking you to the website. So about 8,000 engagements right here, 670 comments, over 1,000 shares. This one, obviously, is in high demand. Let's take a look at the seller's website being sold at $40. You've got different colored variations and different sizes. I hope he's got a size chart right here, size guide. Okay, so good. So we've got that. It's really important. So you can really just measure your hand, you being the online shopper and see if you fit in the small, medium, large or extra large. And overall, clean website, clean look. We've got the right information that we need right here. This embedded video is kind of going over between the white and the black, which looks pretty weird. Not the best place to also add the video. I would add it right here somewhere where I could see the video without having to scroll much because a video is something important to have that can really convince the customer to buy. And sometimes it's all they need. Just one good video copy. Win survival kit. Enter and win our top rated survival kit worth $58. So you don't really know if this is true. You don't know if the seller is really going to give this kit to anyone, but this is his way of getting your 
your email address and hoping that you will hope that maybe you will win maybe you won't but hey you gave him the email address and that's what he's looking for i hope that he will do the right thing here and really give out that prize to someone but in any case the best way to go about it is to just offer them a discount when you offer them a discount not only is it different from telling them you might win a prize because okay i'll just put my email address and not buy anything from the website maybe one day i'll get an email that i won the prize because it's kind of like a lottery right but here when you offer them a discount for their email address then they'll also want to use that discount to purchase from your website and get a better deal. So that is the better way to go about it. So these gloves are being sold for $40. We saw that the Facebook ad is doing a great job in terms of engagement and demand. And let's take a look at the supplier's website. Tactical gloves on AliExpress. Let's choose the variation that we saw on the website. So in this case, it could be these. Yeah, it's these gloves right here. Let's choose any size. $16.99 with free shipping. So the price is the same, hasn't changed since we wrote the article. And yeah, this is the information, making over $30 every time you sell gloves that cost only $18. So as you see, the tactical niche is in pretty high demand. Number nine on our list, portable eye massagers. Now this one is relatively new to the scene, but it's been selling like crazy all year long, and it's gonna continue selling even during 2023, all throughout it, and probably more in the years to come. So it's not a neck massager, it's not a hand massager, it's not a foot massager. This is an eye massager. So it's just kind of massaging around your eye area. It doesn't massage your eyeball, but around it. And this one, like I said, started trending really, really hot recently, especially this year, which I'm pretty sure it came out only this year. So the selling price here is $90, being sourced at $37, leaving you with over $50 profit every time you sell this eye massager. Gender, both male and female, 21 to 40 years old, single and married. You can go a little bit over 40. Concerns with strained eyes, dark eye circles, and just people who have an interest in massagers, in a good and healthy lifestyle, and all of that. Let's take a look at the Facebook ad. So this is the company they're calling themselves Iology, and this ad right here is working really well. They also did a good job on the copy. So instant relief from migraines and eye fatigue. The Iology trademarked, I don't believe it's not trademarked. Intelligent massager is the only way to relieve migraine headaches naturally. And then you've got the bullet list with the right emojis. So the products features 60% off free shipping today only. Get yours now with the link. So you've got the video. These these people are just really showing that they're enjoying this product. It helps convince you because you see more than one person. So it's not like they paid one person to do it. And you can see how the product works, the areas that it should help you out with. And it simply tells you what problem this product is here to solve. Over 5,600 engagements, 4,000 comments, and over 5 million views. This one is crazy. And this is the right time to sell it before it gets super saturated. And by the way, even during next year in 2023, when this product will already be saturated and many dropshippers will be all over it, you can be sure that the manufacturers in China especially will take notice of that and pump out all kinds of different eye massagers with different features upgrade them some more so keep your eye out on that and don't just sell the same one all year long iology it's got this light blue theme so it's kind of here to calm you down and you can see that this banner up here corresponds with the color inside their icon so they're really trying to brand it the right way it's the same color as the add to cart it's the same color as the text over here so you can see that this seller did a really good job trying to brand this product for themselves so check out this eye massager start selling eye massagers on your stores and i can't wait for your guys comments down below to tell me how it went for you number 10 on our list vintage japan samurai posters these have been in high demand recently let's take a quick look this one is being sold for almost a hundred dollars being sourced at around 44 dollars leaving you with a potential profit of about 50 dollars target audience both male and female 25 to 40 single and married with hobbies such as collecting vintage products those who love samurais home decor and more let's take a look at the facebook ad bring some magic into your space with these vintage japanese hanging scrolls free shipping not the best copy ever i'm sure that you can do a better job if you just think about how to make it a little bit better maybe a little bit did you know about uh, vintage japanese hanging scrolls maybe a reason why the customer would want this in their home let's take a look at the reaction so we've got over 10,000 engagements over a thousand comments a thousand seven hundred shares you can be sure that this one is making plenty of good sales let's take a look at the seller's website so right away we shop in australian dollars get shipping options for israel goodbye this is the website so a thousand ways forward this 
is a general store. It's not a specific niche. You can see that they're selling a whole bunch of different types of items. This is a niche store for wall pictures. So no matter where I go, you will see similar images. So images to stick on your walls. Most of them are Japanese, except for the fabric wall hangings right here. You can search by theme. So you can really get around from just the top menu, which is a friendly thing to have. But the text here is not aligned correctly. It's not in good placement. And there's a lot of space between the pictures themselves. I guess the seller doesn't really care. He's got over four pages just under this category of products because he doesn't have to worry about the stock running out or not having stock if he's using dropshipping automation because he's dropshipping and he can just keep testing new products and seeing what will sell well. And this one specifically is selling really, really well for him. So let's take a look at just that product. Okay, so he's selling it for $94. Now let's take a look at the source. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down to the supplier's website, click on the same product on AliExpress, and we can see it right here. We went with a 30 by 90 centimeters and choose the one that comes with four. So it cost $30.67 with free shipping to the United States with tracking available. You always wanna go with tracking available even if it sets you back a few more bucks. Anyway, when you're importing these products with AutoDS, you can set in the configuration to include the shipping price to the source price. So you will offer free shipping to your buyers even if you're paying for shipping and you'll still make the same profit percentage. So it doesn't matter if they're charging you for shipping, you'll still make your profit. So again, $30, let's say $31, okay, we'll round it up. $31 and he's selling for 94. So the figures here are correct, even though the source price here was higher when we wrote the article. So today you can see it's much, much cheaper. Same variation, just $31. And we're also eligible for the $3 off orders over $4. So that's another $3 profit. So yeah, over $50 in profit, almost even $60 in profit when selling this product. This one is trending really, really well. Another product in super high demand. I hope that you guys enjoy this video of the top 10 high demand products and take all of my tips that I gave you in this video into consideration, implement them. Let me know in the comments below how it went for you. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so yet to keep learning about the next step in your e-commerce business, whether product finding, interviews with other successful dropshippers, more dropshipping tips and strategies, new features coming out, automation, scaling, and everything that comes along with it. Thank you for watching and good luck with your high demand products.